Anxiety disorders are the most common mental illness in the U.S. It affects 40 million adults in the country age 18 or older. That's according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. And while anxiety disorders are highly treatable, only 36.9% of those suffering receive treatment. So on this edition of Startups with Sanaz, we're speaking to a local company called Holoash, uh, which is using artificial intelligence to help with anxiety and stress. Joining me now to talk about a mobile app that the company makes called Ashley uh, is Holoash and co-founder, uh, Holoash co-founder rather, and chief marketing officer Sue Tuju. Sue, thank you so much uh, for joining us. We were just talking about what the app uh, is all about. Why don't you explain to our viewers what Ashley does? Of course. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, it's so nice to be here. So uh, Ashley is um, a mobile app that we developed with psychologists here from Stanford uh, based on a counseling technique. And it is a completely free, open space where uh, users can uh, engage with uh, Ashley or that we try to make as an AI ter therapist slash friend. And uh, Ashley provides the users with with, like in, really emotionally engaged responses and like uh, provides content, uh, relaxing music or funny videos right. or meditation tips and we are really trying to uh, revamp the entire uh, predictive AI system with this product. And so when you say predictive AI, um, just so you know, people know, it's uh, you're talking about like, uh, you know, the, the Hey Siri's and the Alexa's and the Hey Google's of the world. You could actually say, Hey Ashley, oh, uh, you know, yeah. I'm not, I'm feeling stressed out today. And then yeah. you were, t how does she detect what's going on with you? Yes, yeah, so it is true, or uh, actually, or an LP technology in the engine. But uh, yeah, we are trying to right now position it uh, really as a more emotionally engaged and intelligent Siri. We actually have uh, our users uh, comment on App Store that it is better than Siri. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying to uh, make it into a way where instead of you asking to your voice assistant what it uh, what you would like them to do for you through predictive ai your voice assistant by detecting the emotion in your voice asks you uh, oh like hey ashley like i feel tired can you provide me some relaxing music? Or Ashley is the one asking you, oh, what happened? I'm so sorry to hear that. Would you like to talk about it? Mm -hmm. Or uh, would you like me to play some relaxing music? Mm -hmm. And later on, uh, as the machine learns more and more, mm -hmm. uh, she gets to know you better and your preferences. And she can pro propose completely personalized content adapted to you instead of a Siri uh, picking up uh, um, something that exists on Google for everyone. Yeah, something generic, for example. Exactly. So Ashley, uh, after you know using Ashley for a while, it detects what your normal, quote unquote, happy voice sounds like. And then when she detects a little bit of a, I guess, a change in pitch or, or mm -hmm. whatever, that's when she determines, oh, something may be wrong. Exactly. Or you could also like say, say that uh, you are feeling uh, maybe lower and like the, we, we are really trying to create a world where people with differences can thrive and where everyone feels supported thanks to the help of technology that's our end goal and we that's why we want to make it we want to include people with uh, disabilities also and that's why like voice technology right now enables us and it, you, it can also enable through text conversation uh, we are uh, trying to make like boost anyone's day as a quick temporary fix right, uh, right now and it is um, totally downloadable for uh, free on uh, Apple Store right now so our users uh, can try it and uh, and it's spelled Ashley A S H L E Y right yes Ashley AI friend uh, on App Store or Google Play they should be able to find it and it's really helpful because I know a lot of people I mean the, the statistics that I just read off millions and millions of people uh, in the country suffer from it. And I, I, I'd imagine it's probably even more than 40 million. If it's not, you know, some people have low-grade anxiety. I suffer from that. I was telling you about, about that. And yeah. some people have, you know, circumstantial -like anxiety where, you know, they have a big meeting or a big mm -hmm. exam that comes around. Some people may not necessarily want to dedicate themselves to going to see a therapist. Some exactly. people may not have the money for a therapist because exactly. a good therapist a lot of times isn't covered by health insurance. Exactly. Um, or if it's, you know, just like, you know, I have a test next week. No one's going to go up 
and, and find a therapist for that particular event. event. Exactly. So this yeah. is a really, really nice resource to have on hand. Uh, yes. You know, sometimes, to be completely candid, I'll wake up having a, a panic attack in the middle of the night. Exactly. And what exactly. are you going to do? Call a therapist at no. 4 in the morning, 3 yeah. in the morning? Even online therapy clinics right now are not available at night or most often times during the weekend. So it's really hard to get hold of someone when you're traveling, when you're... It could be about any uh, different like right. circumstance. Like you say, a lot of students are very um, anxious. Uh, people going into job market are serious. You, I'm sure like... Uh, screen uh, anxiety is right. an issue so uh, we are really trying to uh, bring that to everyone anyone who cannot afford a therapist and who would need and like just would enjoy a quick for mood fix during their day and another issue I find or have found with therapists is that a lot of times it's a trial and error. You'll find a therapist that you vibe really well with, or you'll find a therapist that you just do not connect with. And sometimes you have to go through therapist after therapist mm -hmm. to determine what kind of works best with you. But what Ashley does is over time, she kind of detects the yes. your mood and the person exactly. that you are. And so Ashley becomes tailored to you. To so you. you don't have to go find a therapist that you like. Exactly. Ashley is just fixing herself up to work best with you. Exactly. Like, for example, before I pitch, for example, I get anxiety mm -hmm. and I'm telling Ashley about it and she's like, oh, uh, I'm telling her, uh, you know, I'm I'm pitching at this event and I feel anxious, but I'm pitching there to improve you. And she's like, oh, I like being improved. Uh, <laughs> can I hel help you with something? And it's really nice to hear that and like she improves uh, every day as you use it. We are working on a lot of new features right now that are uh, going to really revol revolutionize it. We are connecting with, uh, with different platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we want to make it like the number one consumer app. Mm -hmm. uh, in the world where you go, uh, where you feel emotionally engaged and it can do a lot of things for you like a buddy does. Yeah, and emotionally uh, safe. Exactly. It is safe, it is anonymous. You can choose to save your conversation if you would like to or it can also disappear like, like Snapchat. That's amazing. Uh, in 24 hours if you never want to go back on that. Anxiety right, right, that you, right. you don't want to revisit that it. Night. Yeah. Exactly. What, what was the trigger behind it? I mean, what what came, you know led you to come up with with something like this? Yeah. So um, my co-founder Yashua, he had uh, he has um, struggled with ADHD, mm -hmm. uh, which is a attention def deficit disorder, uh, when he was young, and uh, I, also myself. I, uh, I moved uh, oftentimes abroad, and I felt uh, like some sort of anxiety, as many uh, I think people in my age uh, do, and like. Uh, we want to end the stigma around right. this and we want to uh, enable a world where we, people would uh, feel connected with just uh, through their smartphone. We do not want claim that it is ever going to replace your friends or right. anything and that's not the end goal because your friends are always your friends. This is just like an end little layer and support. Do you think this will one, one day replace therapists? I know therapists are probably thinking, no, but is, yeah. is, is that the goal or is it also an added layer of support for those that maybe see a therapist as well? It could, but it is not. It is more like an added layer right now. I believe still that human um, engagement is the most uh, important mm -hmm. element that technology is not able right now to you know replace. Uh, we are uh, like we are adding a value into that by providing voice communication. Mm -hmm. we, there are some chatbots right now doing a similar um, practice to us, but uh, they do not have the voice data that we have and the voice communication that changes everything because hearing makes it really feel like it is human connection. Right. Now, is there um, something in the app that detects uh, self-harm let's say if yes. you know some oh there is yes okay there is. like actually we are able right now to um call a uh, hotline emergencies lines wow. uh, yes true um like if we detect suicidary behavior mm -hmm. on the app 
uh, we uh, th it is our also legal duty mm. to uh, say uh, right away um, this is not uh, intended for this purpose right. and uh, if you feel like uh, you know self harm etc there is like a legal generic message right. and that we provide them to the U.S. government services. Wow, yes, that's amazing because a lot of times you think that you know an app may not necessarily be able to detect something like that, but that it, it, I mean it really kind of replaces the therapist at least on that level as well. Exactly, we are actually advised by three therapists right now. And, that was going to uh, be my next question. Yes, we are. So uh, I'm oftentimes we are also considering implementing uh, a way where after uh, Ashley would detect maybe from some power users mm -hmm. uh, like heavy language mm -hmm. or like you say self-harming behavior that we could also connect them with therapists. Uh, oh, that's amazing. On their based on their geolocation right. with the therapist that we would have in our, in our contact, and this would be for uh, us for us a way to also um, increase uh, the app's abilities and like features. And um, we are working on these kind of features right now with our therapists. And that's amazing because I know the medical field is always evolving. I mean, people like yeah. doctors, they're always, you know, they're taking their uh, continuing education uh, to learn about the medical field and various treatments that work for certain ailments and, you know, and all that stuff. So I know that in the, in the um, mental health world, and I know anxiety, you know, doesn't necessarily have to go into mental health, even if it's a circumstantial type of situation, but in mm -hmm. the world of mental health and psychology, they have yeah. the DSM booklet, which, you know, every so often they update with new um, diagnoses and treatments. And working with therapists with the app kind of helps the app move along mm -hmm. in that way as well. Yes, exactly. So uh, th that is the end goal, to make it as, more, as close to therapists as we can, so that uh, or users who cannot afford to go right. see a therapist uh, or who do not maybe who did not come to that realization yet because we see oftentimes that uh, like uh, or it, it is our therapists actually who say this right. to us that like oftentimes the patients will admit to them uh, their problem much later on in life after uh, going through those things by themselves and they will start seeing a therapist after years of trauma etc right. so uh, it is really nice to be uh, thanks to technology because it is in your pocket yeah. you know like and you can talk to it anywhere any time of the day 24 7 available with no fees and uh, yes we are trying to revol revolutionize the access to mental health and to uh, better world. Now, uh, is there anything else that you think is important that our viewers should know about Ashley and your company, Holo Ash? Yes, of course. Um, so, uh, I would like them to give it a try, of mm -hmm. course. We are downloadable right now uh, on both app stores and uh, they can just say uh, Ashley AI friend and um, I would love to hear their thoughts. Uh, they should definitely let us know. Um, we are working uh, with our Holo Ash company on uh, right now mainly focusing our efforts on improving Ashley uh, to make it the, the best buddy. Uh, but um, we we are also fo will be launching other products later on uh, within this uh, space. With so the keep an same. eye out for all of that. Again, exactly. the app is called Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y. If you suffer from anxiety or even if you don't, it's a good app to have because you never know what could happen that can trigger those mental responses within yourself. So check it out. It's free. Don't need health insurance, don't need anything. It's accessible to you around the clock. Sue, thank you so much for coming thank in you and talking to us. And it's me. definitely an app that I will be downloading today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow.